is back for another session of Ask and Anything. And this week we have a question from Kath. Now, Kath's question is, why on one hole can I hit the ball okay and on the very next hole using the same club off a similar lie, am I not okay? In fact, downright ordinary, in Kath's words. Now, the reason that we are inconsistent can be one of two things. The first is technique. So if there is a bit of a fault, a technique issue, you're going to be less consistent because you're having to compensate for the fault. So let's say, for example, when I do know your swing, Kath, so I know what I'm talking about here with you is um, if, for example, you tend to stop the body and flick the hands a little bit, um, Sometimes you might get away with that if you're a little bit more relaxed. Um, if you're a bit tense and, and tight and the body really stops and the hands have to really overwork, then it's not going to work. And sometimes it's only a fraction of a difference between those two, depending on how relaxed you feel. Um, so if there's a fault and you're having to compensate for it, you won't be as consistent. As consistent. Um, so get a lesson, get the technique right, make sure you're working on the right thing. So technique is number one, but the other thing is your timing and your tempo could be off. So for whatever reason, even though the lie is similar and the situation seems similar and the club is the same, you may feel a little bit more tense over one than over the other, maybe because um, you know something's more at stake, maybe your score is more at stake, maybe you're um, coming closer into the hole, maybe you're coming closer to the end of the round where you might be having a good round and, you're, and you want to um, capitalise on it and you're feeling a little bit more tense. So when you're starting to feel a bit tighter, you want to really focus on your timing and your tempo. In fact, a fantastic tip is to focus only on your tempo for the entire round. So tempo is um, timing, speed of swing, um, it's not a slow swing, you still want to have a little bit of speed through the ball, but it's it's the sequencing and the tempo that's so important. So um, there's a few drills that uh, you can use to improve your tempo, turning the club upside down and holding onto the club end and swinging and waiting for the, the whoosh sound is a good one for your tempo. But generally just relax the shoulders down and allow the club head to swing and try not to do too much of the work for the club if you can, if you're finding that your tempo and your timing is a bit rushed. So those are the two things when you're inconsistent. Um, check your technique first, that's the main thing. If you're having to compensate for poor technique, you'll never be as consistent. Um, and, and check your timing and your tempo is good. And we tend to be better at that when we're relaxed, don't we? I think we all, we all know that. So relax the shoulders down, try and um, feel nice and soft before you go and really allow the club head to swing and really focus on your timing and your tempo, particularly if you're starting to feel a little bit so in those moments coming towards the end of the round, if you are going well and you're getting nervous, focus on your tempo and just keep it smooth and keep it calm and good luck. So this week I'm going to do a tempo drill rather than a technique drill because a lot of my tips are technical and they're quite specific, but nothing beats really good timing and really good tempo to really give you power, consistency and just help your game overall. So um, a quick and easy tip to improve your tempo is to count. So you're going to count on the backswing, one, two, three. And then you're gonna count the same on the downswing, one, two, three. Because we want a slower backswing than we do a downswing. And a lot of people, when things aren't going well and they wanna try and slow their swing down, they start slowing the downswing down, but you need speed through the ball. So my advice is feel free to slow the backswing down, but you do need a little bit of speed coming through. Particularly women, we don't hit the ball as far as the guys. We need pretty good club head speed to give us a little bit more power. So your timing and your tempo drill is one, two, three, one, two, three. So that you're a little bit quicker coming through, but you still have good timing and good tempo. 
So what does good tempo mean? You hear that word all the time, but I think a lot of people don't really know what good tempo means. And I think the worst thing you can do when you think, okay, I'm gonna improve my tempo, is to slow your swing right down because you need club head speed to get power. And a lot of women particularly lack power. So when you're thinking tempo, don't think slow your swing down. What you wanna do is think of a slow back swing, a fairly slow changeover, and building up to power through the ball. So you want all your speed through the ball. So don't worry about a slow back swing. Think of the changeover as fairly slow and then build up to really creating that speed through the ball. So when you're thinking tempo, it might help you to think of speed through the ball rather than speed from the top of the swing and try not to think about slowing your swing down. We want to get it's nice and slow on the backswing and then speed through the shot. If you feel that you need to get a little bit more power through the ball or if your timing goes off when you're out on the course, this is a great drill to get you back on track and to also create as much power through the bottom of the ball as you possibly can. So all you're going to do is take any golf club. I've got a three wood here, but you can use a long iron, something with a bit of length, even a driver's fine. You'll turn it upside down and you'll grip at the top of the club. This is an old drill. You would have seen this before because it's a, it's a good one. So you're just gonna do some swings. You wanna try and hear the swoosh at the bottom of the swing. So through your impact area. If you tend to change over really quickly or cast the club, which is a common fault, you'll be hearing a swoosh up here, which you don't want. So on the way back, come through, swoosh at the bottom. Really good for getting the power at the bottom of the ball and also for slowing your swing down and adding that tempo back in. So if you find yourself out on the course and you're feeling a little bit anxious and a bit rushed and you can't seem to slow yourself down, try this. Take your setup, you might just have a practice swing while other people are hitting. So in the background, obviously not in their way. And I want you to do some super, super slow motion swings. So all it is is some really slow, deliberate swings that just sort of slow you right down and just bring that tempo right down. So in the background, really slow, go through the motions and see if that helps you just to slow that tempo down and get you back on track.